Alrighty, so right here I have all of my peas, and you can see they're way above the trellis now. Um, I have started harvesting them a little bit. Uh, I got about a handful today. Um, with peas, it's pretty hit or miss. I feel like I'm just kind of grabbing one here and there as they get ripe or ready. This one is pretty close. Um, there's really no method to my madness. I kind of just like to pick them when I feel like they're ripe. There's a ton down here too. So, um, this one got a little damaged, but should be fine. Um, yeah. <laughs> That stinks, but it's okay. I'm gonna have a ton of peas. This one is small, but pretty, pretty hefty. And then on this other side, I don't believe there's any peas yet. Um, there's like little tiny ones, but nothing really um, too impressive. I do have the two random bean plants here. These are just normal, like, green beans. Um, they're starting to have some buds on them now. Look at this marigold plant. I planted some marigolds in here, not thinking that I couldn't get to the weeds. Um, but they're still growing really well. This is the other random bean plant that I have. So... This is just a marigold, and then I have some New Yorker tomatoes. This one has a bud, or a blossom I should say, and multiple buds right here. I'm super excited that um, this is starting to produce some blossoms and stuff. Um, this one is faciated, so it's going to probably have some cat facing, but um, I am really interested to see how this will turn out, so I'm going to leave it. There's tons of buds. Now, New Yorker tomatoes are bred so that they produce um, earlier than most tomatoes. This is going to be a pretty big blossom, I think. Um, this is another New Yorker, then I have a beautiful marigold plant right here with a ton of blossoms on it, and then I have a lone, um, New Yorker over here too, which is starting to get some blossom, or blooms, buds on them as well. This next row, I have another marigold plant that's just doing really nicely. I have a really small Roma tomato. And then I have a couple bigger Roma tomatoes down further. These have some really small buds on them. Um, it's still pretty early for the Roma. This is my biggest Roma tomato. As you can see, it has some buds right here. I need to get that one staked up. So, right here are my two Chadwick cherry tomatoes. These have a ton of buds and a couple blossoms on it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, cherry tomatoes are probably one of my favorite types of tomatoes. Um, so I'm really excited. It smells like tomatoes. These are all homestead tomatoes. Um, they've got some on there. They're still really um, premature. And then I have two more plants down here. Now, if you've ever grown tomatoes before, you know what I'm talking about when I tell you that it tastes or er, smells like tomatoes. Tomato plants have a very distinct smell of tomatoes, and it's one of the best 
smells, I think. Um, it just smells so fresh and yummy and it makes you want to just eat a whole bunch of tomatoes. Um, so I'm so happy with the progress that my tomatoes have made so far, especially because it's been a little bit colder and really wet this spring, but they have redeemed themselves. Um, I was worried that I wasn't going to get a ton of tomatoes, but the plants are doing really well now and I still have about a month and a half before it starts getting cool again, so I should definitely have a pretty good harvest of tomatoes this year, I think. I mean, I have my peas, so at least I have something, right? So next, I have Pepper Alley. Um, this section right here is primarily jalapenos, Anaheim, and then Bell. Then over here is mostly um, jalapeno and then banana peppers. So let me show you some of my bigger plants. So this right here is a jalapeno. It does have a tiny little bud right here. Here is one of my Anaheim peppers. And this one also has a little bud. I need to come through with uh, the weed eater and get rid of some of these bigger weeds. And then right here is my pride and joy. This is my biggest banana pepper plant and it has a couple buds on it. And so I'm just really excited to see this start producing. Banana peppers are my absolute favorite type of peppers. Um, I will eat them on literally anything. Pizza, quesadillas, sandwiches. Um, so banana peppers were the pepper that I was looking most forward to in my garden this year, which I know sounds kind of weird because it's kind of random, but I'm so excited to see what these banana like what these banana peppers produce and how well they produce and hopefully I can pickle some of them. So I'm yeah, like I'm so excited about these banana peppers. I can't wait for them to blossom and I can see them grow. Um, but let me show you my burgundy bush beans. So these are my burgundy bush beans. As you can tell, they have a ton of blossoms on them right now. Um, I'm not exactly sure how well they're getting pollinated, but um, I have peas, so hopefully I will have beans. There is some bug damage, so I'm going to have to watch out for that, but I cannot wait to try some purple beans. I've never tried these beans um, in my life, so I'm excited to taste them and um, grow them. And then over here I have my zucchini. It's really hard to see because of the sun and so I'm sorry. But basically I have two plants on each mound. And then um, I'll show you. I have... Oh, that's actually just a leaf. But there are a ton of blooms or buds about to bloom down in there. And that's about how every plant is at this point. They have a ton of buds. Um, they're just not producing any blossoms yet. Alright, so as you can see, uh, these potatoes are pretty dead. Um, this one still has just a little bit of life left in it, but I don't want to leave these potatoes in here for too long because I don't want them to start rotting. Um, it's not time to really harvest potatoes. I think this um, plant just got a little bit sickly. It doesn't affect the potatoes at all. Um, it just makes it so that the plant won't grow anymore, which is a bummer because I was really hoping to get a little bit more life out of this potato um, group, but that's okay. We're gonna pull it up anyway and see what we got. So I'm just gonna Grab it by the base and 
pull. Wah, wah. All right, so <laughs> I've got one little potato. <laughs> um, here's my one potato so far. It's um, a little small, but that's okay. I brought this basket to put these potatoes in, but it's going to fall right through. So, yeah. Um, let's see what else we got in here. <laughs> like, you can see it definitely started um, creating potatoes, little tubers, but nothing yet. Let's see what this one has. Okay, look at it. We got a little bit bigger. So that one's not too bad. And again, just kind of the roots. Oh my gosh! Guys, look at I have potatoes. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is one that I can actually like eat. Check it out. Guys, I'm so excited. This is the first thing that I've harvested this year. So I am super excited. Definitely some small ones. All right, let's pull this bad boy up. This one's got one. All right, so I'm gonna start dumping. Ooh, that must have been a seed potato. We got another potato right here. I'm just gonna kinda. Oh my gosh, look it. That one started growing, but I think it'll be okay. Oh my gosh. Guys, oh my god, I'm so excited. I actually have potatoes. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. I don't know. That might be it. Oh, we got another one right here. Ooh, gross. I just touched something nasty. So there's definitely some grub and stuff in here, um, which I don't really think that helped. There's another one that was in here still. It kind of smells funny. I'm not gonna lie. All right, I think that's it. I put this trash bag in here so that um, the tubers would be safe from the sunlight because uh, potatoes don't like sunlight but I have about one meal's worth of potatoes in this bin um, obviously that's not a lot um, but like I said I think this plant got sickly um, before it could really produce much of anything, unfortunately. Um, but you know what? I think this was a pretty good learning experience for me. Um, I think that growing potatoes can be done in a container. However, um, I would definitely try something a little bit different next time. Um, hopefully I can grow them again next year and try something different and show you guys how that one does. But I will remind you that this is only one of my container potatoes. I have another container potato um, that is still growing. It's still alive and well. So I'm going to leave that as it is. 
and I have um, potatoes in the ground that are still growing really well and I'm gonna leave those as they are as well and we're gonna see how those ones do because I think this one just got sick I think it would have done a lot better if it had stayed healthy um, but I'm still pretty happy and excited with what I have um, it's the little things that go a long way especially when this is your first year of gardening sorry <laughs> um, there was a really kind of big burst of wind and I knew that the camera would not pick up my voice but um, yeah I've never grown potatoes before I don't really know anybody that's grown potatoes before so for me this is a huge deal and I'm so happy um, so let me take you inside and I'm gonna show you them hopefully a little bit better in there Alrighty, so here are my potatoes all washed up I am really excited um, I'm pretty sure these are the red New Orleans um, they're not purple so they're definitely <laughs> I don't think they're the purple majesty um, obviously I have some really small ones but I will probably cook up about half of these um, maybe make some like fried potatoes for morning and I'm just so so happy Alright, so I know the background's probably going to be kind of messy. This is my kitchen. My kitchen is perpetually messy all the time. But I'm so happy with the harvest that I got, even though it was a lot smaller than I was hoping for. Um, I guess it's just kind of how things are when you garden. You never really know what you're going to get, especially with potatoes since they grow underground. But hopefully the next time I do a potato harvest video, I will have more to show. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked walking around the garden with me, especially now that things are starting to bud and blossom and bloom and all of those fun B words. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye!